I'm already uncomfortable. <laughs> Look who's back in the kitchen! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Today, as a treat, we're making unstuffed cabbage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Veganuary. Today, we're going to be making unstuffed cabbage. Mm. Stop! <laughs> so good. We're getting so close to Valentine's Day. Yes. This is not something you want to cook on Valentine's Day. Not all that cabbage, kids. Oh, come on. Too much fiber. All right, so why don't you go step over to the to the stove where you belong and turn it on. Turn it on to mid. You're really hot. Oh. <laughs> you are really hot. There you go. Put a little oil in there, too. Be quick about it. <laughs> Just a little? Uh, like a tablespoon or so. You don't have to use oil if you don't want to. I like to use oil because I like olive oil. I think there is some value in it. Some people are oil free. I believe I need oil and I don't eat nuts. So I really need some omegas it's a from somewhere. fair amount of uh, calories there. I know. <laughs> I know. What are you, my mother? Live a little. Mm. All right, so I've already chopped up one Vidalia onion. It smells lovely. Doesn't it? I love it. And I've already got my rice pre-soaking. I've done this, um, how many times now have we had the unstuffed? Like two or three? Two or three. Yeah. The rice at the top is always a little crunchy, and I hate that. Yes. I love it. I don't like it. So I <laughs> pre-soaked the rice, hoping that that's going to solve that problem, and it's going to help it to cook more oh, evenly. Oh, you didn't do that before? No, I didn't. Okay. All right, well, here's your onion Okey -dokey. and your spoon, so All start right. sauteing okay. and bring that cutting board right back. All right, wait a second. All right. One onion. Okay. All right, so teamwork makes the green work. Well, he's um, cooking that onion over there. I just washed this head of cabbage. And we're, instead of wrapping, I'm going to cut that off. Don't worry. Don't you worry about that, because that's gross. Yeah. I'm cutting off. The, oh. the rotten part of the cabbage. The rotten part? Yeah. I don't like that part. All right, so I'm going to shred this. Let's, let's take these loose leaves off first. Those make excellent rain hats. <laughs> Would you like to put it on? Oh, this fits me perfectly. I right? Because I'm like bald You got a pinhead. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> We're not eating that one. That works. Watch your hands. My green yarmulke. Yeah. Yep. All right. So the way I like to do this is I cut off to the stem like that and then like that. And you turn this flat and then you just cut it thinly so as if you were making coleslaw or sauerkraut yeah it goes over a little bit <laughs> but try and do it as thin as possible because you don't want big pieces it's gonna cook down and wilt but you don't want the pieces to be too big because then somebody's gonna take a big bite and it's gonna be hanging out of their mouth you don't want that what? you know what happens when you saute onions what? Like the next day, like tomorrow morning, I'm going to get in the shower. Everything's going to smell like it's gonna onion. smell like onion. Yeah. That happens. Yeah. You, why don't you let Dad do some? Um, I don't think so. Not allowed. <laughs> yeah, not do allowed you want to try knives. it? No, oh, you got it. You sure? Give me a damn knife. Thin. Thin. Well, you better watch these hands. I am watching my hands. Both of them. You better watch the paws. <laughs> like it's going okay okay all right he can do it you're right i should give him more to do in the kitchen is that what you want dad oh no <laughs> <laughs> okay now i'm putting cabbage in there <laughs> what happened to your hat did you throw it out i tossed it oh. i think you really wanted that Alright, I don't think we're going to use the entire head of cabbage. I'm probably going to use like this much more. And then I could use this for something else. Like if we have soup. 
or a mushroom pulled pork sandwich. I can mm. make um, some pickled cabbage with Yummy. that. Yeah, you know, some coleslaw. Would you want to cut that? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why don't you put some seasoning in your cabbage? Okay. Yeah, we're going to do like a teaspoon of thyme. And we're gonna do like a teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. and a lot of ground pepper. Mm -hmm. So that was the thyme? Thyme. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing. I'm putting in a teaspoon of salt. What's your preferred salt? <laughs> um, I, I like the Himalayan salt. But it doesn't contain any iodine. Right, and that's very important. And you, you, you want all this in there? Yeah. And you still have to put the pepper in. I know. More cabbage. Whoa. All right, we lost a little. How much pepper are you adding? A lot. <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, you're doing a fine job. Thank you. A fine job. Bo, what do you think? Oh, he's looking for stuff he dropped. Yeah. Bobby. Come here, baby. If it's sticking a lot or, you know. If it's, it's not. It's not sticking. <laughs> you know why I add a little water? If you, th it? If you think you, it needs it. I think it would probably help a little bit if you added a little water. Okay. You're gonna get water out of the cabbage anyway. Yeah, but it's gonna go into the rice, so it doesn't really matter. Perhaps we should put more water in because of the rice. We don't want it to be well, crunchy. Well, we'll do that later. I want it to be crunchy. Now he's a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, who likes crunchy rice? I love it. Let that do its thing. Yeah, give that another uh, two minutes to reduce, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. The next ingredient to go in is the fake meat. And today we have one from Aldi. This is pretty much a knockoff of the Beyond uh, chopped meat, except I don't think it's as, fa it's as fatty. I think it's um, not as greasy, which is nice, because I think the Beyond one can be a little bit much, if you know what I mean, like a little too fatty. So um, I've had this one before. I haven't had it in the cabbage before, but it's a pretty good one. So I normally use the Beyond one, and it makes it nice and greasy, but this should be okay. <laughs> All right, so Mark is working hard over there. Looks good. My arm hurts. It's really cooking down. Yeah. So now we're just going to dump this in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, break it up. Hey, break it up. Ew, it looks creepy. Blech. Is this the same as the uh, burgers we had? Uh, no, this is from Aldi. You might want to turn it back up to medium because we're going to be adding a whole lot of ingredients that aren't hot. Got it. Going back up. Yep. All right, so I look at this recipe as basically stuffed grape leaves, but instead of the grape leaves, it's cabbage. So I make it pretty much the same way, except I put a little bit of sugar in the uh, tomato sauce. It's Polish, I guess, right? What? put the sugar in there? I don't know. I can't really. Oh, geez, I'm Jeez. sorry. Cooking is hard. For real. <laughs> so we're going to put in a nice big um, heaping tablespoon of the... Soka? Yeah, we're going to use, you know, the dark coconut sugar. Right. You can reinvent the wheel, but I happen to like opening up a jar of my favorite pasta sauce. <laughs> I'm not into that doing the pasta sauce by scratch because I don't have all day to stand in front of the stove cooking it. So we're just going to add in, uh, I guess this is Sicilian gravy. It's pretty, um, pretty standard like a marinara. I'm going to put a little water in here and get all of the goodness. sauce. Yeah, get all the goodness out. Because we're going to be adding more water anyway after we add the rice, but it doesn't really matter. It's starting to look so good already. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to preheat our oven. Uh, today we're doing 375. 
And while we're waiting for that to come up to temperature, we're going to add the rice in. I've got uh, three cups of three rice cups. So that's like three, three quarter cups. So is that like two and a half that I've soaked for a while? Yeah, you're going to need to scrape that up. I need to scrape that. <laughs> it's like playing Twister here. Mm. Sorry. Just go ahead and put that dish right in front of the camera. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so right-handed. It's okay. All right. Get rid of that. All right. Give that a good stir. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Smells wonderful already. Wonderful winter meal. Yes, it is. So I think we're just going to add... Maybe another um, cup or so of water. The rice will soak yeah, up Yeah, the rice lot. is going to soak it up. I just hope that's enough. I don't want it like dripping all over the oven. No. That's a bore. Perhaps covering this for a little bit would be good. Well, I'm going to cover it when it's in the oven. Maybe you should do it before it goes in the oven. No, we're going to put it in the oven. <laughs> nice right. try. Turn that off. I feel like Dad's been losing a lot of power as these videos go on. <laughs> Turn that off now. All right, we're gonna have to get it into the pan. Okay. So this is gonna be difficult because this is heavy as hell. Okay. Cause it's heavy as hell. Oh, Dad, to don't touch don't that. Touch that. <laughs> Look at that hot sludge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling good as hell. <laughs> You know how you're right-handed? Mm -hmm. Well, I like to hold. Oh, sorry. Jeez! <laughs> sorry, Maddie. Why don't you smooth that out? <laughs> See what happened when you play games? I know. Oh. See? There. Good as a minute. All right. Lovely. So, Wonderful. Yeah. May the best cabbage win! Cover it with foil. Please. Hold that. <laughs> Come on, beat it. Time is up. <laughs> Pencils down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop this into the oven for probably between 45 and an hour, 45 minutes and an hour at 375. And when we come back, Dinner should be prepared. Bing! Hello. You look Hello. like you just woke up from that. You did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got here? Why, I believe this is what I made for you. Oh, well, for all of us. No, just you. Maddie gets Great. Why, oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Mm. Let's see. I hope I don't have to throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Very nice. Take that. Mmm. I hope it's not crunchy. I hope it's it is. Not. I hope it is. Not. <laughs> Why don't you get a, a bowl and we'll plate some up. Okay. <laughs> oh, looks like somebody's going to try it and burn their mouth hole. <laughs> Try it. Eat it cautiously. Give us your thoughts, Mom. Delicious. It's perfection. Mm. I think it's really, really good. It's good. It's not Perfectly crunchy. cooked. Not Perfectly cooked. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. A little lemon? Mm. Yes. Lemon. Okay, Perfect. give us your rating. 1 to 10. 10 being the best. I would say it's a solid 9.5. Whoa. Whoa. Dad, right? what do you say? I agree with Mommy. <laughs> mm. That's good. Thank you for cooking. Thank you for showing I me. I hardly did anything. Oh, you did all of what? it. What? <laughs> told me what to do. You're hilarious. I always tell you what to do. <laughs> no. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. 
us cooking in the kitchen. I told Mark today that um, I'm sad that the January is coming to an end because it means he's not going to be in the kitchen. And he said he would be in the kitchen more. Oh, we're going to get more of these after? Yes. Nice. Right? Sure. So All right. So make sure you subscribe for more Mark in the Kitchen. Throw it a like because he's freaking fabulous. And um, until next time. Much love. Yeah.